By placing two regions, North Kivu and Ituri under siege, Felix Chisikidi invoked the 85th article of the DRC constitution. The president can order the military and police to take over if severe circumstances immediately threaten the independence or integrity of the national territory. The two regions have seen growing attacks, massacres of civilians. Under the state of siege, the military and police will take over civilian authorities. They will be able to search any house at any time, seize any weapon, arrest people if authorities believe they can endanger public order. Starting Thursday, the region's courts will be military courts. North Kivu's governor and some other residents hailed the decision, hoping to end the violence. An estimated 122 different armed groups are active in the two regions, starting with the so-called Allied Democratic Forces, or ADF, affiliated with the Islamic State group and blamed for many of the massacres. Others, though, are concerned by the consequences the siege may have on DRC's human rights record. Several military officers have been accused of human rights violations. A UN report from March says human rights abuses have increased by 32 percent since February.